it's time for that portion of the show where we feature those three little words that men find so hard to say. I don't know. And our letter reads as follows. Dear experts, I have to deliver the eulogy at an uncle's funeral next week, and I don't know what to say. He never came to any family gatherings, and none of us really knew him. Still, I feel we owe him something, because when he died, he left us each a pretty good chunk of change. Any suggestions signed in the black? Well, I would say you can say whatever you want. The guy's not going to argue with you. Huh? <laughs> you know, Red, I don't think you're the right guy to answer this question. You know, funerals are a time for, for forgiveness and serious reflection. Okay. Isn't that the way you do it at the funeral home there, Brian? Not if I can help it. <laughs> Planting people is a tough business. I mean, all day long, you got to be straight-faced and sober and serious. <laughs> Sober's the hardest. <laughs> I guess you got to just grab your last where you can get them, eh, Brian? Oh, you said it. Yeah. We have this one organist. Uh -huh. Likes to slip in other songs in between the regular funeral music. <laughs> oh, it is hard to keep a straight face when he starts playing Hit the Road, Jack. <laughs> you know, huh? You morticians kill me, you know. <laughs> no, that's doctors. <laughs> no, we're just the cleanup crew. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If our um, if our viewer is still watching, um, <laughs> listen, I, I don't think you're going to get anywhere with the eulogy. I think you're on your, I think you're on your own, and that's a good thing. Oh no, I, I'm sorry. I got carried away. Okay, uh, the eulogy thing. Well, if you don't know the guy that well, it's best to go with our standard send-off speech, which, uh, by the way, is available on our new gravesite website, <laughs> www.dead.com. <laughs> ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Some guys wear out, others just rust. <laughs> this one was quiet, not much to say. And he's looking more laid back than ever today. <laughs> but don't waste your tears. It's no time to grieve. We all prefer guests who know when to leave. <laughs> if he's gone to heaven, he won't have it so rough. And if he's gone straight to hell, you'll meet again soon enough. <laughs> hey, Red Green here. This is really the first official announcement of my brand new tour coming next year. It's called I'm Not Old, I'm Ripe. It's all new stories and jokes and advice and the regular kind of useless yet somehow amusing information you've come to expect from me. I've been doing these tours the last few years and, and I've really enjoyed it and, and the audience has too or at least nobody got badly hurt. So I've decided to keep doing it until I stop. Now for this latest tour, we haven't finalized all the details yet, but I'll tell you what I know, and as usual, that won't take long. For the U.S. part, it's going to be starting around the end of March and end up probably the middle of May. The Canadian part, uh, starting probably the middle of September and finishing off the end of October. Uh, there may be a few exceptions, you know, because of the size of the country. Like, it might be better not to go to Washington State until we're already in British Columbia, but that, that's, that's for somebody else to decide. There are really only two things that you need to know. Number one, all of the information will be on redgreen.com and they'll keep updating it as it comes in. And the other piece is that the tickets for some of these places are going to be on sale before Christmas of this year. But again, just keep checking redgreen.com. Everything will be there. I, I hope to see you on the road in 2016. Until then, keep your stick on the ice.